Supply chain management is a concept that has flourished in manufacturing originating from just-in-time production and logistics. The supply chain management represents an autonomous managerial concept, although still largely dominated by logistics. Supply chain management ensures cross-company, process-oriented planning, and control of the entire value of change. This is what the consumer makes the logistic rethink because the consumers and short product life cycles are taken into account. Furthermore, relationship with suppliers are considered in order to follow to optimal design and control goods delivery, cash flow and information flow. There are various types of objective of supply chain management. The first one, to maximize of the overall value generated. The higher the supply chain profitability or surplus, the more successful the supply chain. The second one, customer relationship management. The consistent focus on end customer demand to meet the increasing customer requirements and ensure a high degree of flexibility. The third one, the synchronization of supply and demand. Increasing the adaptability and development capability of the supply chain. The fourth one, flexibility and demand oriented production. Continuous cost reduction and resource optimization across all the stages of the value of the value chain. The fifth one, have a good understanding of business characteristics, a well conceived plan, strong and positive leadership. We need to take a risk, encourage a health work environment and any other basis of characteristics are necessary to be understood and be applied in organization of supply chain management. The sixth one, cost quality improvement. Quality management improvement in reducing process variation directly impact on several supply chain performance measures. As process variation is reduced, leading the more quality units and fewer defective units moving through the supply chain. The cycle will also will improve. With fewer defective units moving through the supply chain, delivery dependability improves. There are seven principles of supply chain management. Principle 1. Adapt supply chain based on service needs of each customer segment. Principle 2. Customer logistic network for each segment. Principle 3. Align demand planning across the supply chain. Principle 5. Outsource strategically. Principle 6. Different information technology that support multi-level decision making. Principle 7. Adopt both service and financial metrics. The methodology of supply chain management consists of four elements which supply chain assessment, second supply chain redesign, and the third supply chain control, and the fourth continuous supply chain. The typical supply chain for any given construction project could include architects and engineers, prime contractors, specialty subcontractors and material suppliers that come together one time to build a single project for a specific owner. The complex supply chain is characteristic by adversarial short-term relationship driven by the competitive binding process. There are two types of the role of supply chain in construction management. First, the characteristic of construction supply chain and second, introducing the four roles of supply chain management in construction. There are two types of the role of supply chain in construction management. First, characteristic of construction supply chain and second, introducing the four roles of supply chain management in construction. The construction supply chain is characterized by the following elements. First, it is a convergent supply chain directing all material to the construction site where the object is assembled from incoming materials. And second, it is apart from rare expansion, a temporary supply chain producing one of construction project through the re through repeated recovery. <laughs> Second, it is apart from rare exception, a temporary supply chain producing one of construction project to repeated reconfiguration of project organization. And lastly, it is a typical make to order supply chain with every project creating a new product or prototype. There is little repetition again with minor exception. The process can be very similar, however, for project of a particular kind. 
There are four major roles of supply chain management in construction can be recognized dependent on whether the focus is on the supply chain, the construction site, or both. Firstly, the focus may be on the impact of the supply chain on site activities. The goal is to reduce cost and duration of site activities. In this case, the primary consideration is to ensure dependable material and labor flow to the site to avoid disruption to the workflow. This may be achieved by simply focusing on the relationship between the site and direct supplier. Secondly, the focus may be on the supply chain itself with the goal of reducing costs, especially those relating to logistics lead time and inventory. Material and component supplier may also adopt this focus. Thirdly, the focus may be on transferring activities from the site to early stage of the supply chain. The rationale may simply be to avoid the basically inferior condition on site or to achieve wider concurrency between activities which is not possible with site construction with its many technical dependencies. And fourthly, the focus may be on the integrated management and improvement of the supply chain and the site production. Thus, site production is subsumed with supply chain management. Client, supplier or contractor might initiate its focus. Our case study will concentrate on applying supply chain management in construction industry and to be more specific is in construction company. Supply chain management, also known as relationship management between supplier and contractor. Supply chain management in construction, helping construction company to increase profit and to improve competitiveness. Construction supply chain management can be very complex, particularly when the construction company involved in large scale of project. One of the main characteristics of this complexity is when some parties such as supplier and subcontractor attribute to the variety of site material required for construction project. The project will become more complex when more people get involved as supply chains will increase. In our case study, we had interviewed Mr. Fuad, who is the site supervisor of the main contractor, Gerbang Musadaya Development Sedian Berhad. He was incorporated on 22nd November. 2010, which is a well-known Class A contractor. Based on the interview, Mr. Fuad said that the complexity of supply chain occur when the scope of project increase, as more amount of manpower, parties and materials are necessary for the completion of the project. To solve this complexity, it requires a great deal of planning, organizing and collaborating between supply chain, supplier and construction management. Their company may interact with several amount of supplier and subcontractor in order to deliver a project. And sometimes, supplier may cause the complexity due to late delivery materials on site. According to Mr. Fuad, in order to make supply change management in construction company run in effective and efficiency way, is the management team are necessary to manage the supply change in construction. He also said the procurement process coordination used in his company can be separated into six parts, which is supplier selection, supply contract, buyer, supplier relationship, trust and cooperation between parties, bonding and order management. Mr. Fuad stated that client satisfaction is the priority. Thus, his company promised to deliver only good quality building to the client. To meet his company in the same level as large construction company, this company need to offer some value to the client which is they will build the project within the right time and required quality in market operation. The barrier in the implementation of supply chain management in construction the construction company and its supply chain suffer from many problems that affect it in a negative way. At operational level, the factor like pay rate, political situation, material delivery, level strength and others. The problem affecting the construction company include budget, override, delay and low profit margin. 
The reason for this low is low growth of the supply chain management is first fragmented industry structure which is contracted in the two use subcontractor but subcontractor are using another subcontractor that have not have sufficient experience to meet the job. Second, lack of guide for creating areas with supply chain management. Third, inability to integrate the company's internal procedure. Fourth, poor management team. And the last is uh, the inadequate investment of training. The benefit of supply chain management in construction. What we know that in business organization always want to reduce their product development time, improve the product quality and reduce production contract supply chain management in construction. What we know that in business organization always want to reduce the product development time, improve the product quality and reduce production cost and lead time. The relationship between construction company and client uh, using by contract with determined price and defined specification. The benefit of integrated supply chain management for construction company uh, such as low transaction costs and efficiency organized supply chain could result in low transaction costs and highly competitive industry in global market because of the transaction between the supplier partner in the supply chain from uh, cooperation and coordination. Furthermore, a good supply chain management requires long term planning for management team. A good supply chain makes clients want to repeat business with the company. The conclusion from, the, uh, from this case study, we can see that coordination in the procurement process is uh, adding value to the construction industry especially in the construction sector. It has been shown that effect performance, especially in terms of operation and marketing, competitive has shifted in the industry to focus more on key elements such as uh, company needs and manage business more efficiently and effectively. effectively. This key element related to the issue of coordination, trust, commitment, IT, and level of procurement activity. In relationship, marketing approach, approach emphasizing trust, commitment, and long-term relationship because it is important for contractors to understand the importance of their relationship and their contribution to the firm performance. Then, the level of each activity in the process of inquiry the firm performance where contractor and supplier engage more information sharing and contract management. Last, the benefit of coordination in the procurement process. Why? Most activity in the coordination of the procurement process are seen to contrib contribute uh, to the better performance of each activity and the coordination mecha mechanism adopted in the construction industry also influence the result.